Have you ever attended meetings affiliated with the Communist Party? No. Our country is under threat from Soviet spies, but there's another risk to national security. What is your marital status? Single, but there is a special lady in the picture. How oh, it's stunning. Have you ever had inappropriate physical contact with another man? No. Such a damn good liar. Do you like it this way? Bob is pretending. You're everything to me. If I was everything, you wouldn't be going where you're going. You should be careful. Everybody lies about something. We must beware of these communists and queers. These people are dangerous to this country. I look out at that city and think about what it denies us. We lie about who we sleep with. Not who we sleep with. It's who we love. Have you ever been in love with another male? I have loved you my whole life. My great, consuming love. Mr. Fuller, answer the question. That is a look at the new Showtime limited series, Fellow Travelers. The eight-episode historical drama traces the romantic relationship of Hawk Fuller, a Washington, D.C. bureaucrat, and Tim Laughlin, who works for Senator Joe McCarthy during the Lavender Scare of the 1950s, when gay men and women working for the federal government were seen as a national security risk. Join us now, the actors who play Hawk and Tim, Matt Bomer, and Jonathan Bailey. Guys, so great to have you here. Great to be here, thank mm-hmm. you. This series is amazing. I think the term, first of all, Matt, lavender scare, mm-hmm. a lot of people might not even be familiar with it. We jumped from the red scare to the lavender scare. So yeah. what was it exactly? Well, I didn't know a lot about it. We're not really taught about it in school. So it's, it's basically in 1953, I believe, mm-hmm. uh, Senator McCarthy and Roy Cohn convinced Eisenhower to uh, put in an, ex- an executive order that banned all gay people from government. So it turned into a witch hunt. An estimated 10,000 people lost their jobs. Multiple people took their lives. Uh, so it was a dark chapter in our history. And Jonathan, how does your character play into all this and off of his? Well, Tim uh, is a bit of an ingenue. And he's, uh, I think through the eyes of Tim, you enter the world and he meets Hawk and he has uh, a sort of chemical awakening meeting this incredible man that he's so bowled over by. And, and so starts this sweeping love story uh, of 30 years. And uh, with that, it's sort of underpinned with uh, an, an amazing forensic sort of um, study of queer liberation and, uh, and how the world around these two characters informs their choices and their, it's, it, their brutal sort of existence. You know, it, it's so interesting when you... Uh, I remember reading Sandra Day O'Connor's uh, uh, obit, right? And here's a woman, obviously the smartest woman in her class, the smartest woman in her time. She and her husband move, uh, and uh, they offer a secretary's job. Mm-hmm. And she's like, no thanks, I'll raise my kids. You sit there going, what world was that? Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking the same thing at the end of The Imitation Game, mm-hmm. extraordinary movie about yeah. Alan Turing. And I was like, wait a second, you, you can be basically tortured, jailed, uh, like it, there was, were, we ever had that world? And here we see it unfold. I, it's going to be so shocking to so many people. I bring up Sandra Day O'Connor because I'm like, there's so many women mm-hmm. that have led the way to where women are today. And younger women may not understand exactly what uh, so many went through. It's the same thing here, where people had no idea, like you said, about the lavender scare, just what it meant to be a gay man in the 1950s and how your life, your liberty, your everything could be at risk. Yeah. And also, I think it's such a, reach, a recent history and it's so shocking to so many people. But of course, there's so many people in the world who still live under that sort of oppression. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's why it's so relevant to today. And I think there's, there's themes in it which are universal, I think. But, um, you know, gay people have always been there and they've always been fighting. And uh, this is a brilliant, like, beautiful way of of showing that, I think. And you're right. That's still the reality in in large parts of of the world. Sadly, yes. You know, Matt and Jonathan, uh, it's interesting in this TikTok age that we live (laughs) in to realize that well before TikTok, somehow Americans and America as a whole contracted amnesia about so much that is history. Mm. 
It's in, the, in terms of history, 1953 is a snap of a finger. Mm -hmm. And yet General Eisenhower, who was in charge of D-Day in World War II, was a coward at first in confronting the Cones, the McCarthy's of that era. It, it's, just, it's just fascinating to bring this back to light now today when people will see it and think, is this fiction? Mm -hmm. This really happened? Yeah. But it yeah. all did. I think it's really important to look back at the times when our fears got the better of us uh, so that we don't repeat those mistakes going forward. And th this goes, it's the 50s. It goes, though, doesn't it go through oh, the yeah, 70s? Oh, yeah, it's four decades. decades. You go on a whole it, yeah. crisis. Yeah, it ends in San Francisco in the 80s. So it's, it's I mean, it, it's, it's like the way we were. It's a, right. a multi-decade love story against a political backdrop. It's the gay we were. And oh, fantastic! <laughs> and are you are you are, 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 you, are you singing? You are, right are you right doing there. the Streisand thing? And no, sing no. 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 When the comments are wrong, you sing. Well, well, of, my of course, the line though that's drawn through there is Roy Cohn in the 1950s. Of yeah. course, a guy that's going out yeah. prosecuting, persecuting gay yeah. men. Uh, the guy who in the 1980s. Uh, dies of AIDS. Mm. And it denies it, famously. It denies it, yeah. denies it, and uh, none other than Donald Trump went from being uh, a friend and ally of his to abandoning him. His main acolyte, though, for many years. No. 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 All right. Well, this is great. Very exciting. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having, having us. Fellow travelers now available to stream on Paramount Plus and Showtime. It's really good. Matt Bomer, Jonathan Bailey, guys. Thanks so That's much. That's not the Thanks. first time you said the gay we were, was it? You've no. said I think it's the second time. Yeah. It's just as good as the second time. Just as good as the second time. You hope you it for us. That's okay. You should have said yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Congrats. Just came Thank tomorrow. You. We'll be right back with more Morning Joe. <laughs>